Welcome to my African affairs. From 1824 until 1899, there were five Anglo-Ashanti wars between the Ashanti Empire and Great Britain and its allies. The British lost or negotiated truces in several of these wars, with the final war resulting in the British burning of Kumasi and the official occupation of the Ashanti Empire in 1900. The wars were mainly due to Ashanti's attempts to establish a stronghold over the coastal areas of present-day Ghana. Coastal peoples such as the Fant and the Gar came to rely on British protection against Ashanti incursions. In December 1895, the British left Cape Coast with an expeditionary force to start what is known as the Third Anglo-Ashanti War. The Asantahim directed the Ashanti not to resist the British advance, as he feared reprisals from Britain if the expedition turned violent. Shortly thereafter, Governor William Maxwell arrived in Kumasi as well. Britain annexed the territories of the Ashanti and the Fanti and constituted the Ashanti Crown Colony on September 26, 1901. Asantahin Prempe was deposed and arrested, and he and other Ashanti leaders were sent into exile in the Seychelles. The Asante Union was dissolved. A British resident was permanently placed in the city of Kumasi, and soon after, a British fort was built there. As a final measure of resistance, the remaining Asant court not exiled to the Seychelles mounted an offensive against the British residents at the Kumasi fort. The resistance was led by Asant Queen Ya Asantwa, Queen Mother of Ejisu. From March 28 to late September 1900, the Asant and British were engaged in what would become known as the War of the Golden Stool. In the end, the British were victorious. They exiled Asantwa and other Asant leaders to the Seychelles to join Asant King Prempe I. In January 1902, Britain finally designated the Ashanti Kingdom as a protectorate. The Ashanti Kingdom was restored to self-rule on January 31, 1935. Asant King Prempe II was restored in 1957, and the Ashanti Kingdom entered a state union with Ghana on independence from the United Kingdom. The Asantahana's representation of the coronation of Prince Charles is to solidify bilateral relations between both kingdoms and for the benefit of Ghana. God save the king!
Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.